Hello everybody, Wild Daddy is Squids here, and welcome to Pokemon Shodong. And as you can see on the screen, I've done something a little different today. I've built a team based around a Butterfree in PU. Now, as you can see from movesets from the first trade, this is going to be very difficult. And yes, this is a setup for Butterfree with Tielgo Volbeat. And well, as you can see, the Butterfree has a 3 meter which is available to Butterfree only from Fire and Leaf Green. So I'll just scroll down so you get to see team have Amaldo with Cell Drops. Uh, Gallybird is just there to try and set those spikes. Gorgai says he has a Spin Blocker and Gorgai's may be useful. And Rapidash is just here. I just had Rapidash here for Flash Fire in case, uh, well, if you notice, this has a big fire weakness, with 4 out of the 6 Pokemon being weak to fire. So I can anticipate the fire moves, switch into Rapidash, get a flash fire boost off, and just drill around any fire type. And then, well, Flare Blitz gets a boost from the flash fire until I switch out Rapidash. So, I'll just go look for a battle, and hopefully this team works out pretty okay. Hopefully. Okay, so we have some strikers, superior. Ooh, that golem is a bit scary because it could be cost up um, explosion. It could be. So I think what I want to do here is uh, I'm going to open Delibird as he opens golem. Now, hopefully you don't have Rough Blast, but I'm just going to fake out for damage. Because, uh, yeah, all that 2%, uh, yeah, that's uh, a lot of power there. So I'll just go for Spikes. He's most likely going to go for Rocks, of course you do. And you might do something to knock me out right now, and I only have Rapid Spin on this Deli Bird, which is great for me. So... Do I get up more spikes or just Rapid Spin again? And, I mean, yeah, just Rapid Spin. I'll just Rapid Spin. Get that out of the way. Stone Edge me, that's fine. You could have a max 2 sub speed. Wow, okay, you could possibly outspeed my armor loop. Hmm. I'll just go into Armaldo and try and take you out with an earthquake before... Oh, and you still get your rocks up. Oh well, I'll just get my rocks up then. Uh, we so well be a Costa Berry, of course. Well... I was hoping uh, that those rocks are going to be an issue, but, uh, okay, okay, ah, <sighs> hmm, this may be a little more difficult than I thought. I already started out badly, um, I should have just let go of guys instead, and Bullet Seed was my play, but I'm pretty sure I could knock this out with a Shadow Snake. But I do have rocks and spikes on the other side. Of course you're going to sub striker and you are going to overheat. Good because why wouldn't you overheat? Why else would you go into sub striker? Because sub striker gets overheat. Or flame charge. So Rapidash. Predicting the fire move, will that pay off? Yes it does! Flash fire off. And I kinda want to see this thing on speed. Kinda want to see what it what it does. If it would switch out. So I'm just going to Morning Sun. Full switch. Right. I could have flare blitz and get crazy damage off or something, even if the float seal comes in and he goes into Surviper. Surviper is outsped by my Rapidash. Unless you're scarfed, I, I, are you a scarfed survivor? I highly doubt you're a scarfed survivor. Because my move was drill run and. Would you have a scarfed survivor? That. I highly doubt that. 
But I might pull for seeing him. I want to see him. You know what? Just level it. And you are scuffed. And I'm an idiot. Hmm. I immediately regret my decision. <laughs> Immediately regret my decision and this thing may be infiltrated, so it doesn't make sense uh, for me to do much setting up on it. But I hope I can take an EQ. Should be able to. Should I put Psychic on you? On the bucket for you. Kill Blow. I should have switched out. Gore guys could have taken that. Oh, I'm so mad right now. No, I'm thinking to ah, uh, this Xerox breaks my sash. Oh, okay. I'm not sure what to do at this point, considering that it can. Does it kill Butterfree? It's faster than Butterfree, I'll give it that. But do I sub? Do I try to substitute? I hope I can take a hit from this thing. Oh, do I Tailwind? I hope I can try and take a hit from this thing because Butterfree doesn't know its speed. I can get too shorted easily. Um... Oh boy. Substitute, I'm doing it. And immediately he would anticipate Butterfree to come in. Oh, anything that comes in, he gets hit hard by this thing. Huh. You know what, Tailwind, hopefully... I could take the hit. Oh my god! Oh my god, are you serious? My god! I lost. I lost this match. Frozen, 10% chance! 10% chance! Not going to lie, I probably wasn't going to win anyways, because... Uh, no, I said the survivor was scarf and I still left in uh, a rapid dash. That was a dumb move, and now he freezes me with the ice punch, and I'm still frozen solid, and I get knocked out. Oh, that just isn't that great. I love getting frozen and knocked out. <laughs> And yeah, I Shadow Sneak would Shadow Sneak take this out? I don't know. Flutie doesn't have the best defenses. I'll try it. Oh, you know I could possibly knock you out. And yeah, I'm just gonna Shadow Sneak and knock you out. You could switch. You could keep it in. Zapshaka is not living this. Why did you switch out though? I mean, if I would, uh, could I win this with Goa Guys alone? I doubt I could, but it would be nice. I didn't even get to do the whole Butterfree setup because I I bumped that one up, but uh, and he's thinking here, so I don't know what he's gonna do with this striker. He can't do anything, it's either he switches out and takes damage, or lets his Zepshirker go down. I personally, I think he should let his Zepshirker go down, and he does. Um, and he sends it back Float Seal, but at this range, I think Float Seal gets knocked out by Shadow Sneak. And he just keeps his whittling down his own Pokemon because, and I could knock out Survivor at this. I mean, I think he was in a pretty good position to win, but uh, I think the constant switching in and out wasn't necessary, and he 
forfeits because he realized what to see that. Now, I didn't expect to win that, but uh, um, I'll play one more battle. Hopefully, I get my combination up. So, Hazards did, in fact, help. I didn't get to do my butter free, but uh, oh, Golem. Of course, he's going to open with Golem first. I mean, why wouldn't you? And. You know what, the Gorgais, Gorgais opening, I really hope he doesn't use that match, uh, he has uh, a spinner, an Avalog, all that, that is noted, um, <laughs> I don't want to make the same mistake and go to Delibird first, trying to get up spikes and I end up getting messed up with rocks, but then again I would get messed up with rocks if I try to go into Delhi Bird and rapid spin away because he does have some fast mons on his team. You know what? Delhi Bird. Oh, okay, no golem. Take out for damage because why not? No matter how little bit that is. Powerful. Oh, that actually did much more than I thought it would have. And this, wow, this obviously outspeeds oh, so. Spikes, at least if I get one layer, you, you so wow! Special, wow. Right off the bat, Delbert gets bodied, no spikes. And it would be a foolish move for me to go into Armaldo here, but Fulbeat is especially defensive, and I think but Okay, um, I mean, oh, he may be adaptability, right? I may be wrong about this, but I think Basculin is more physically built, so I kind of want to just go into, uh, yeah, I'm going to go into Bulby here and just kill glue it up. Oh, and I may not live after... And I immediately regret my decision now. Okay, so uh, I, I think I'm trying too hard to get this butterfree combo to work that I'm not really staying focused here because uh, that's if did too much. And I need at least a heal win off. You know what it might be? It may be a role that it lives. So, you know what? Um, might as well try. You go for surf and I live on 5. Good thing I did try. So now all I have to do is baton pass into Butterfree. On the oncoming surf, I will live, I have a sash. You aqua jet. Huh. Well, what? Whatever, man, I'm faster now. So, I'll go for the Slip Powder Dream Eater. Now, let's see what a plus 3 Dream Eater does to this thing. It knocks it out! Oh! That... Okay, Butterfree gets a kill! Yeah! I'm liking this. Butterfree picks up a KO. Munch. Munch your axe. And I'll just go for Dream Eater again, because Anne sends me up back to 100%. Sleep Dark Curse. Okay. Okay. That's, that's, okay, let's see how much a Bug Buzz does. Sab, Bug Buzz, plus 3. 36%. Oh, that does a lot. Oh. Will he anticipate Sleep Powder and go for Sleep Dog? You know what? I don't think he's that real to do that. No, he, he, won't, he won't anticipate the Sleep Powder and go for that. And I get a crit. That is unfortunate, but uh, that's a game. And Butterfree gets two kills. Machoke. Machoke. Machoke is not fast. Uh, it's true. It can't true me to be, you know... Super effective, I oh but oh I'm an idiot. Ah oh. How did I forget about bullet punch? 
I just forgot about Bullet Punch. That's great. I love to forget about Bullet Punch. <laughs> you know what? Um, I'll go into Volbeat Beat and Tailwind and let Volbeat Beat go down because I have no other use for Volbeat Beat at this point, so Tailwind. And yeah, you could Bullet Punch, but Frank's a pri priority. So. I would go into the Goa guys and just uh, willow this, but it could be guns. And uh, I am not going to risk that. So, I think I want to keep my Rapidash around, so Amalu. I'm I'll go into Amalu here. And uh, do I get up a rocks? Because uh, rocks would be it in the Avalog. But I don't think I want to do that. And Rock is not very effective against Macho Kuku, so I shouldn't go for Rock Blast. I'll just go for EQ here, see what he does. 41%. Ooh, okay. Hopefully with that drop, it quick takes him out. Alright, ah, okay, it does take him out. And... Uh, hmm... Okay, Tailwind is still there, so I outspeed whatever. Feel free to go for yourself. Well, or not. Or not. Tailwind pairs out. Okay, go guys. And you have the Kustab Berry. And I'm free to just will always pair. You get your soul cards up, not a big deal, Butterfree's good. Butterfree gets two knocks out and two KOs and one was with the Dream Eater. I am still very happy about that. And just go Bullet Seed. Your Rock Blast does basically nothing. Uh, my bullet. Oh, I, I could have. I, there was no need to burn you. Could have just Bullet Seed from the start. Um, he could go into the Avalog here. And potentially go for Avalanche, but uh, oh, or he could go to Sawsbuck. What does Sawsbuck want? Sawsbuck is more physical here, so I'm just gonna Willow. Substitute. Oh, okay, you got me with that because I. Okay. Okay. I'll rock slide. And you Swords Dance. Still doubt that you can take me out from this range. Now, this is a tricky one. I could rock slide anticipate in the substitute. Or he could just get damage off of me. I'm gonna rock slide. Oh! Oh! Won't play it like that! I don't think he could substitute again, so I'm going for a willow. I don't think he has enough anti horn leech. That's fine! Land the Willow, don't miss, don't miss those minutes, yes! Okay, so... The burn pretty much sends down his attack to Sages and he forfeits. And... Well, the Butterfree, I need to probably work on this a little bit more, but um, if you are like the Butterfree set, I will do another video with it. I probably might modify this team a bit. But if you liked it, let me know what you thought about this Butterfree Dream Eater set in the comments, right? That's all for this video. Until next time, goodbye.